Yes, sir. We are back with another what? Video. We're back with another freaking video. This time up, we got. Now, actually, so we got Tom McDonald. And when I saw Tom McDonald pop up in the feed, I thought it was going to be a Tom McDonald music video. But actually, he's saying, my new music and videos are being held hostage. hostage. Dun, and dun, dun, dun. and we, were, we were wondering why I haven't seen Tom McDonald since the whole Mac Lethal thing. I'm like, all right, did he just retire after he dropped the whole Mac Lethal disc? But, um, I mean, let's see what he's talking about. Yeah. What up guys, I'm just making this video because like a little emergency just happened in my life in regards to the new video that I'm supposed to be dropping this Friday. Uh, my distribution company, which is a huge distribution company, just personally called me on my phone. I don't even know how they got the number. Just personally called me while I was out walking around to tell me that they are not going to be releasing my new song this Friday because there's people in their office who are personally offended by the message and the music. They actually gave me three reasons. First thing. See, that's that's how that that's what they. Who cares? Th those be them same people that originally in the industry that the original artists were talking about how, you know, how they do the do it wrong and the. The, the demons in the industry it'd, be, it'd always be those, yeah. those ones them same old heads sent up in the <sighs> office for 30 years get them out they said we can't we can't release this video because the album artwork's too the, the, the song artwork's too controversial so I said no problem I'm on my way home right now I'll change the artwork I'll have it to you in 50 minutes no big deal wow then they countered and came back and said well it's not just the artwork it's actually the content of the song so we need you to like change some lyrics in the song and I said that's not gonna happen it's already been mixed it's already been mastered it's on its way oh yeah because it's oh over my God. One, once that stuff is mixed and mastered it's signed and closed off that's it so you're really? telling me to is it so you're telling me to go back and redo the whole song now. oh my my gosh I can't believe this so who, I mean it must be some truth that's hidden home to some people that they don't want to hear what he got to say I mean offended YouTube that's one thing I love about YouTube is the fact that it stirred the pot with a lot of stuff a lot of stuff that was being controlled by these same guys that do not want him to put out his message it's been controlled like that for 30 years of years and so YouTube come out and people really expressing feelings. Now you're really seeing true colors on who controlling stuff. Oh, man, that's crazy. Wait, I'm not changing anything about this record to to adhere to like your personal feelings. That's right. Yeah. So then they said, okay, it's actually not about our personal feelings. It's because Apple has really strict guidelines and we don't want to get fined by Apple. Boom. Mm. Nonsense. So I said, yo, give me the guidelines. Tell me what the guidelines are. You guys have been talking about guidelines for 20 minutes. Right. Tell me what the guidelines are. Not a single person there can tell me what these guidelines were that Apple has that prevents music of this nature to be uploaded to their platform. See, it all goes back to, to straight up the dollar bill because they feel like once Apple kicks in, that's gonna they're going to come at them with a hard bullet because you know apple is a big massive machine yeah but and what does apple, apple have to do with it if that's apple okay, music i, mean, I know see. that but look at all go find out and see some of these artists that's on apple music please what he's talking about is nothing compared to some of that other stuff they have on apple music so uh, what does that have to but do with other, anything other artists are going through it too like i think adam calhoun and other artists were going through it too as far as being restricted but apple music is only one vehicle there's yeah, but, so many others yeah but they're a massive machine and his music is distrib distribute distributed distributed so his is just not the youtube music i mean he makes distributed it. it's on different platforms so so it was first it was the artwork then it was the content of the song then it was they didn't want to get fined by 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 it by another distro company then what it finally came down to was Yo, we're just like, there's people in this office that are personally offended by this music. And like, we don't want to hurt Who people's cares? feelings. So I was like, yo, like, bro, there's ho you guys are distributing horrorcore rappers to talk about chopping people up with axes. You're, 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 you're distributing wow. like huge artists to talk about Xanax and, and drinking liquor and, 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 and Gucci belt you to death and, and, and hose this. That is a perfect reason. Wow. You know why? Because they want people to be sleep and to be ignorant and so they allow this to go through but they don't want this to go through because oh no we don't need y'all waking up now don't be trying to teach no. them to wake up we need everybody we need sleeping keep you, yeah keep giving you dead food nonsense stuff to fry your brain cells stuff you don't even have to think about oh my god think about something for real and music what
Was that like sarcasm? <laughs> yes, of course. Say, oh, that being... was clear sarcasm, oh, okay. honey. I was about to say clear it, sarcasm. I was like, are you being like you kind of going real fakey? <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, of course. And you don't think these things are destructive to people's lives? You don't think you don't think these things are are affecting people in a negative way? That's really right. destroying people's families and stuff. That's hurting people. And and, my, and you're afraid that I'm gonna hurt somebody with a socially conscious record? Right. This is the biggest song I ever wrote in my life. Mm. Hands down. And that stop it. I'm that is why it it's, it must they're be. trying to put a halt to it because what he's saying is probably like so keen. It's really gonna make you think about things and look at stuff from another yes. perspective. If you know, people, if the powers the that be, truth, if the powers that be want that shut down that bad, that's all must so be like. So if you on get point. offended, then it must be saying something about your inner spirit that you think about yourself or someone else has told you. That's why you're getting offended because oh, this makes you think about yourself. We had that experience with that crazy lady. Tom, send send me that joint, man. I I go and bust it bust it down, Tatiana on on the YouTube. I go and let that mother play. Okay. Send that send that to me, bro. Man, that sucks. Send it to me. But we're send gonna still to have me. hope. Come on, let's see what you gotta say. Invested so much money into this video, and and now they're telling me that they're not even gonna put it out because it's too controversial because it hurt people's feelings in their office. That's what the world is coming to. There is going to be no space for artists anymore. Mm. That's what these companies are doing. This this company, this third party aggregator, is censoring the music that, as an artist, I'm trying to give to the public, and they're saying no, the public can't have this because it might hurt the public's feelings. That's where we're at with this stuff now. You know, like they're just edging real artists out of the game. Mm. Soon there's not going to be people like me, and there's not going to be like all these other conscious artists out there in every genre. We're not even going to exist because we're becoming extinct because of bullshit like this. Mm. And all you're going to be left with is is the Britney Spears and the little Yachties and the Futures and the and, and the bullshit. The only and, top level stuff. And they'll come for them too eventually. And then all all anybody's going to be left with is quiet car rides and tall gray buildings because that's what they're doing. <laughs> artists are the, are, are the lifeblood of our Damn. communities, and these people are cutting it off. Wow. From, from reaching the people who need it because of personal feelings inside their office. So there's a dozen people in that office at most making these decisions, and they've decided for you on behalf of the listener, this is not appropriate for. That, do you know that's been going on? That's been going on across the board on every industry. You know that it's like for years. These small little groups determine what the world should be seeing, and they and it's definitely the absolute worst way to control a society. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what he's saying about the music, and that goes on from the food that goes on from the, this industry. And that's been going on for a very long time. Handful of people control the world, control what the world should see or hear. That's why I don't like the news and media. I don't care now. None of that garbage. Because you're just trying to direct me in what you want to hear. But he was talking about also like the tall gray buildings just riding the car. Made me think about the Matrix because yeah, how up, the yeah. Matrix is like, you know, everybody is doing the same thing. That's just how society is set up. And then you have a lady in the red dress. You right. Know? So it's like, okay. Right. That's what he's talking about. Everybody's going to be pretty much conformist. And based on how Tom is... Have, he has this, you know, has his phone set up, giving a long way, and make it seem like this is a public service announcement. They are going to kill the family. <laughs> it look like he about to say that. My like it's got real super serious. What? <laughs> For people, that's fucking bullshit. I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen with this video or this song, but fuck them. You know what's like really fucking crazy about this shit? Is that like the distro that I have is the same distro that tons of fucking independent artists have mm. and they were created these these independent fucking digital distribution places were created so artists like me and artists like everybody else right. have a fucking platform exactly. an uncensored platform a platform that isn't influenced by by major labels yeah that that that, that, that for artists that can't be fucking that don't want to sign to majors that that, that, <laughs> that want to get their shit out there without he talking about YouTube so then you need to watch for you right so i'm thinking that he's was so that's if independence that's what the point of the independent is to be able to not have to deal with some of the rules and regulations of your majors and independents should think differently but okay but now 
He talking Are about, we talking about He talking about YouTube. I know that. Mm. Well, I don't know that he was talking about YouTube. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about independent. Because this is the platform for everyone. No, he's talking about independent labels. Independent, you know, distribution companies are different from your major companies. I got it. So, I feel like that, you know, maybe the Jay-Z's or, you know, these other big time artists, you know, Birdman. I don't know. I'm just using him as an example. Birdman may not necessarily be, of course... You know, he may not be an artist that Birdman may want to put you out, but I'm just saying someone of their status who called their own shots and that can, you know, front the bill for you until you recoup whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. Maybe that's the route that artists need to start looking into. That yep. sucks, man. Having th- th- their music vetted by a team of fucking old white dudes sitting in a fucking boardroom at fucking Universal or Warner or Sony, whatever the fuck it is. That's the reason why this shit exists. So that people like me can do what the fuck they want in their music and have it reach people. So now, like, the, 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 the platforms that are pro-artist, that are pro-independent artists, that are pro-fuck this system, I don't want to sign to a label, now it's these guys that are fucking censoring our shit. Mm. If this shit doesn't get fucking digital distro, then fine, I don't give a fuck. I'll, I'll take that fucking hit to my bank account. I don't fucking care. It's not about the money. It's about the fucking message. Yeah. And, and, and people need to hear this shit. People deserve to hear this shit. And they're fucking cutting you off from it. And you know, I don't give a fuck about policies or ad guidelines or getting tickets for having offensive content or any bullshit like that. One way or another, this fucking music is going to find its way onto every single fucking streaming platform that ever fucking existed. Mm. Because I'm here fucking screaming the truth at the top of my fucking lungs, and I'll be damned if some dumbass in a fucking suit and tie is gonna stop me. Uh, you know, yeah. the powers that be have 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 made the decision for you that 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 you can't handle this music, and this music's gonna hurt you, and it's fucking inappropriate for you. So fuck them. I'm out. I love y'all. It's Hangover Game forever. Peace. And my question Man, is, that is crazy. My question is, when has music what up, guys? Think about it. It's always been to a standpoint of that's why they start putting the parental advisories because it wasn't it stopped being radio friendly, and so they start having different messages that the masses couldn't hear. So it's always been like that, but now people with these independent these indies and more of these social media platforms, you can really say it all. You can say way more. But with the independents, you know. I mean, with the parental advisory, it's not like it's uh, that just, you know, for explicit content, profane words, that, you know, truth being told and all that. I don't know what well, that has to really do with, with parental advisory. So it could be explicit and a lot of profane and still not be talking about anything. You know what I mean? So that concludes this, this episode. Yeah, I mean, this is just... This sucks. This is, we just was um trying to react and see what he was saying because we were wondering why he didn't put the music out but like I said now we know so, so hopefully it's gonna be coming so hopefully he'll get that plaque yeah, get it out there anyway sucks. man get that music out there bro yeah so we rooting for you man like always man smash that like button get comment, a comment and subscribe and always turn on your post notifications so that every time we do something you get it because you know how the YouTube algorithm is sometimes we could do something if you don't have your post notification on you don't even know that you're getting anything um, so that's it man like comment and subscribe peace out you say you want a husband chocolate cake, you wanna be married The big old mansion on the lake, a Lambo with my carriage You say you wanna be the only one, no baby mama drama No could it, but it's out of peace, other shit